In this video, I will teach you how to encode your dataset using Excel and how to upload the dataset to RStudio. Suppose you are done collecting your data using your research instrument and you are now ready to encode the responses of your respondents for analysis. You might be wondering, how will you do it? For example, you want to measure the communication skills of your respondents using the following questionnaire. Three respondents answered your questionnaire and their responses are the following. This is the response of the first respondent. The second. And finally, the third. Now let us try to encode the three responses in Excel. When encoding, you must remember that one column must contain one information from the respondents and one row should be allocated for each respondent. Therefore, column A will be for the ID number, column B for sex, column C is for age, column D is for the course, and columns E to X will contain the responses for statements 1 to 20 respectively. Let us name each column. For column Y, we will have the total. Then we encode the responses of the first respondent. For the ID number, we have 1 here. Sex is male. Age is 22. Force is multimedia arts. The responses are 6, 6, 5, 6, 6, 5, 6, 6, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 5, 6, and 6. For the total, we will leave it for now. We will go back to it later. For the second respondent, we have 2, female. Age is 23. Force is business administration. Responses are 5, 4, 4, 6, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 6, 6, 7, and 5. Finally, for our last respondent, ID number is 3, sex is male, age is 21, course is engineering. Responses are 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 3 and 3. Now, let's calculate the total. To do that, we will use the sum function in Excel. Let's type equal sign and type sum, open parentheses, go to the first response of your first respondent, hold shift and highlight all the responses up to the statement 20. Click enter and you're done. To apply the same function, go back to the cell. Double click the small green box located at the lower right corner of that cell. And there you have it. Now we're done. Let us save this file as CSV by going to File, Export, Change File Type, and select CSV. After, save the file in desktop. Name the file as data1.csv. Though we can save the file in Excel format, it would be easier to upload CSV files than Excel file into RStudio. Next, let us upload the CSV file into RStudio. To do that, go to RStudio 
and click file new file and our script in the source window we type the following code data1 read.csv open parenthesis file.choose comma header is equal to true make sure that you copy the code exactly as it is before we proceed Let's first discuss the code that we have here. Data1 is where we will store the information saved in the CSV file that we will upload. Basically, Data1 is the name of the object which contain the information. Read.csv allows us to read CSV file in our studio, whereas file.choose allows us to choose the file that we want to upload. Header is equal to true tells our studio that the file we are going to upload contains a header which is the column title that we made earlier. Now we are ready to upload the file. To do that, highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. A window will appear. All you need to do is to locate the file that we have saved earlier. It's in the desktop and the name is data1.csv. Double click the file and you're done uploading your file. Notice that in the environment or history window, data1 is added. You can click this to view the data. And there you have it. You can now encode your data using Excel and upload it into our studio.